Hi everyone, time for another story time and it's the last part of our book today and it's Disney's version of The Jungle Book. So we're going to finish the book today. I really hope you've enjoyed it so far. I'll tell you what, the ending is fantastic. So I think we're in for a good story time. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. Mowgli ran through the jungle. Suddenly he ran right into Shere Khan. The tiger had been waiting for this moment. The man cub was alone in the jungle at last. Do you know who I am, man cub? asked Shere Khan, showing the boy his sharp claws. Yes, but I am not afraid of you, said Mowgli. You must be afraid of me. Everyone is afraid of me, said Shere Khan smugly. Well, you don't scare me, said Mowgli. Ah, you have spirit for one so small, said the tiger. You deserve a sporting chance. I will close my eyes and count to ten. It makes the chase more interesting. Shere Khan began to count. One, two, three. But Mowgli did not run away. Instead, he reached for a stick. <gasps> Suddenly, there was a loud clap of thunder. The storm had arrived. Just as Shere Khan was about to attack Mowgli, a bolt of lightning flashed in the sky. The lightning hit a nearby tree, starting a fire. Shere Khan let out a great roar. He was afraid of the fire. Mowgli saw that Shere Khan was afraid. He picked up a burning branch and chased the tiger away. Soon, the rain from the storm put the fire out. Just then, Bagheera and Baloo arrived. They both had been searching for Mowgli and had heard Shere Khan's roar. They were happy to see that Mowgli was not hurt. We're glad you're safe, little britches, said Baloo as Mowgli ran up to the big bear and gave him a happy hug. Baloo and I were very worried, added Bagheera. Mowgli hugged Bagheera too and told them about his encounter with Shere Khan. By the time he finished, the day was ending. So the three friends found a safe place to rest. Soon they were all fast asleep. The following morning they all went to the river near the man village. When they arrived they heard someone singing. They crept closer. A young girl was fetching some water from the river. What's that? asked Mowgli. This is a girl cub, Bagheera told him. Mowgli had never seen a girl cub. He decided to take a closer look. As he approached her, he made a little noise. She turned and saw him. She smiled at Mowgli and dropped her jug of water. Hey, she did that on purpose, Baloo said, as he and Bagheera watched from behind the bushes. Quite right, my friend, said the wise panther with, panther with a smile. Mowgli quickly picked up the jug the young girl had dropped and refilled it with water. Then he followed her. Maybe he would like the man village after all. As Mowgli was about to enter the village, he smiled at his friends and waved goodbye. Well, Baloo, said Bagheera, Mowgli will live in the man village from now on. We will miss him, but he is where he belongs. Yes, agreed Baloo, but I still think he would have made one swell bear. The end. I hope you enjoyed that book. Bye.